Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's Tableau video, I'm looking forward to covering how do you write calculations in Tableau that would allow you to compare month to date to the same month to date from the prior year in your data set. All right. So let me go ahead and actually break this down in a chart where we're looking at the month, day, year of order date. And let's go ahead and start with a calculation for... Um, uh, this year's month to date. All right. So uh, create a calculated field. Uh, right now I'm uh, writing this as of October 7th, 2022, or creating this. So I'll just call this um, month to date sales. And did I say, if I said year to date, I'm sorry, I was just doing a year to date video. So my brain's all, all jacked up. Um, okay. So for this month to date sales, what I'm going to say is if the date diff uh, between my order, uh, sorry, my date difference in months between my order date and today equals zero, then sales. Okay, let's expand this so we can see this all at once. All right, so you can see the latest day in my data set's October 7th, so I don't have to worry about any days in the future. If that was the case, you could always say like, um, I don't know, something like, and the date is less than today or less than or equal to today. So let's check this one out first, make sure this is working well. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop month to day sales on text and just the way we like it. Um, just seeing sales values only for October 1st through 7th, 2022. Okay. So now how do we do the same thing, but for the same month to date, but from last year, right? So let's say our data is kind of seasonal. So I don't want to compare October to September. I want to compare October to October. You know, maybe we're like, Spirit Halloween or something like that. I have no idea. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to month to day sales and I'm going to duplicate uh, this field and I'm going to edit my month to date sales copy. And this will be prior year month to date sales. Okay. So two key components that we need to do here. Okay. Uh, first of all, we need to change the date difference reference. Okay. So how this works is, you know, the date difference in months between order date and today zero, that just means it's this month. If I said one, that would mean it's last month, September, uh, September 2022, I should say. So if I said equals 12, that actually means go back 12 calendar months. So all of a sudden now we're talking about October 2021. Bingo, right? Um, but we need to update this a little bit more because at this point, this is going to give us all sales from October of 2021. Okay. So bit of an additional clause here. I'm going to say, and the day of order date needs to be less than or equal to the day of today. All right. So if you're not super well versed in the day function, what it does is it takes a date field and it just returns for you the calendar day of month. So this would just give you a one through 31. So what this is going to do is it's going to look through all the order date values. And in this case, because today is October 7th, it's just going to give us or just one through seven would be less than or equal to the day of today. So I'll hit OK. I'm going to double click on this prior year month to date sales. And we're going to have to scroll back to October of last year. Where art thou? There we go. So we're just seeing the sales values for October 1st through 7th of 2021. Uh, so let's just go ahead and call this sheet data validation. I'm going to include a link to this workbook in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, so let's say we're just keeping this high level. Uh, how did our sales compare um, to last year across these different regions? Fingers crossed that each of these regions had a transaction. So I'm going to create one final calculated field. And I'll say, um, what do I want to say here? I'll call this you know, uh, year over year, month to date, sales difference. Kind of mouthy, but I think it should work. So real important here, especially with the way this data is structured, I need to use my sum functions. So I'm going to say, what is the sum of my month to date sales minus the sum of my prior year month to date sales? That's just going to make sure that it's aggregating all of the sales for a region um, and, you know, subtracting one versus the other as opposed to trying to do some row-level calculation. Anyways, take my word for it. You're probably going to want your aggregations to make this work. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And let's go ahead and put this year-over-year, month-to-date sales difference on column shell. And we are getting some mixed results, right? Um, so let's go ahead and put these fields, month-to-date sales and prior year, month-to-date sales on tooltip and just do a bit of validation here. Okay, so 
in the South region, we have $3,900 for this month to date sales versus $1,800 for the prior year month to date. Sounds good. Uh, increase. Everywhere else, ah, not so good, right? Uh, Central was fairly comparable, difference of $60. And then East is, is really kind of the big loser here, right? So we're at $1,900 of sales in this region so far this month versus $5,300 at the same point in this month last year. So, uh, sweet. Well, I, I hope this was a helpful walkthrough for you. Um, I know we appreciate making these good challenge and we like to try and help out the community and, and just put some resources out there that'll help make your day a little bit easier. So we just want to thank you for following along um, and feel free to kind of check back in here or subscribe and uh, we will have another Tableau video for you next week. So thanks so much. Have a good one and we'll talk to you soon.